Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's doing okay. As usual, you see, I'm behind the steering wheel of the car. Had an appointment this morning. I know that you might not be able to see me clearly, but it's not about you being able to see me. It's about you receiving the message. Well, anyway, I want y'all to please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube page. And even if everybody don't like me, they're just on here being nosy. Spread the message to somebody else because really, really they might need it. Well, anyway, I don't know why I'm always wanting to make a video when I'm driving. But it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Y'all know how I like to start my videos with a prayer. It won't be long. It'll be a small one. But God, know the message. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for a peaceful night's sleep. I thank you for waking us up this morning. I thank you for life, health, and strength. I thank you for continuing to walk with us and take us through this thing called life. Father God, I ask you to strengthen us where we're weak. I ask you to let us be more forgiving, caring, and kind as human beings. Let us be understanding. Let us communicate better. Let us love better. Let us heal from all past hurts harm or danger. Father God, I thank you for your precious son Jesus that died on the cross so that we can be forgiven of our sins. I thank you for helping me as I continue to take this journey through life and helping others, Father God. Father God, I ask you to break all generational curses, not just on my family, but on all families, Father God. In your name, in your precious son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I know my eyes won't close. Y'all, you know, I always have to have your eyes closed when you pray. You don't always have to be on your knees when you pray, but it's good to give honor to God. But a lot of times I don't be doing that. I'm not going to sit there and say, tell nobody how to pray. Like nobody can't tell me how to pray. Anyway, y'all, I, I hate that most of the time now when I'm making a video, I'm always talking about sad things or hurts and pain and all that. But because of this grieving process, it's like every hour, every minute, you don't know if you're going to get up happy, sad, glad, or mad. And your feelings, it's like being on a roller coaster ride. But anyway, I don't want to talk about sad things all the time but I started my page because of me knowing that I need to take a healing journey I really don't care I mean I do care I'm not afraid of people's opinion because people are very very opinionated I know that a lot of times people might not be on the page to be supportive it's more to be nosy but really I'm not really worried about that because that's not the purpose of me starting this healing journey. And sometimes people don't understand it. Even when I get on here and I sell, share personal things about my child. But one thing about it, that is my child. I'm talking about Jaquan. And he's not here no more. And I share his story and give testimonies about his story sometimes so that it can, it can help somebody else. It's bad when we always, I, I, I was taught that you don't tell everything, that you keep personal thing personal. And y'all don't get me wrong, some things you don't want to share with the world because it can come back to bite you. But you, when you're walking in your purpose and you're walking in who you really are, you don't want to sit there and feel like you got to hide everything. No, you're not going to share everything. Because yes, people use your words and use your life story and use things against you. But me personally, I done been through so many hurts and so many emotional, so much emotional trauma in my life. Right now, honestly, I just don't care about people's opinion. I'm just trying to live. Sorry, y'all. I'm 
trying to keep the phone from falling. Live my life to the best of my abilities. Live and walk in my purpose and live in my truth. But will I share everything with the world? No. But I want to be as transparent as possible because not only was I taught that you don't, that you keep the things that happen in the house, I taught my children the same thing. And it's true, y'all, you don't tell everybody everything because people will use certain things against you. But me personally, I'm just sick and tired of hiding things and sick and tired of worrying about somebody else's feelings when I done been through so much trauma and so many childhood wounds has hurt me. I'm left scarred. I just want to tell my truth. My truth is my truth. I don't want nobody else to be judged by my truth. I just want to put it out there because so many of us are wounded and grew up in toxic situations and situations that were hurtful and we never heal from them and it make us where we can't we don't know how to treat other people I'm not just talking about others I'm even talking about myself I did not know that because of my childhood wounds that I will be an adult turn into an adult that will be unforgiving Unkind at times, angry, lash out. I will fight, curse. Still got to work on that. Close people out. That was very important to me. But I did. I know that I'm on camera crying, but I ain't worried about that. Anybody that really, really know me, know me, know I'm a waterhead. And I get in my feelings sometimes. Y'all, I hate that I have to keep dropping these videos and be so emotional and be in my feelings and be on this roller coaster ride up and down days. But that's what comes with this grieving process. Everybody handle this thing different. I tell you this nobody can't tell you how to handle grief nobody can't tell you what to do nobody can't make it better you just got to pray continue to push and deal with it the best way you know how I don't care how many times that people get upset if I'm talking about my son. I don't care who think I'm looking for a pity party because I'm not. I just really don't care about none of that. But I do care about my mental health and other people's mental health. And I just care about people in general, even people that don't care about me. I'm not perfect, but I'm not the same person I used to be. And I don't have to prove that to nobody. But I'm not doing this just for man. I'm doing it to encourage y'all, don't get me wrong. But I'm doing it because of what God instilled in me. I'm letting my voice be heard. I'm doing it to encourage other people to speak out and tell their truth. Stop being broken and hurt and wounded on the inside and afraid to tell anybody. No, you don't have to do it like I do. You don't have to have a platform. You don't have to get on YouTube or your social media and share nothing. That is not for everybody. But all this is part of my healing. And like I said, I ain't sharing everything, but us as human beings, we need to be more mindful. Even if we don't like a person, how we treat a person, we need to stop all that gossiping. And I'm talking about myself too. We need to stop talking about people all the time. Instead of tearing somebody down, lifting them up, being more supportive. Talk about me too, y'all. Everything that I'm talking about, 
I'm putting myself first. And set for jealousy. Because I am not a jealous person. People need to stop being jealous of each other. Stop worrying about if you give a person a dollar. Is that going to make them rich? What difference does that make? To be some more supportive of one another. More caring, more kind. In the time we in, every time I turn around, I hear about somebody losing somebody. Or somebody being hurt, somebody having this coronavirus, or somebody having cancer, or somebody being sick. It ain't even just the coronavirus, sickness. And still, it seems like a lot of us don't want to change, but some people do. I ain't saying anybody, some people do. I'm not trying to be like nobody else. I can't be like nobody but Stephanie Hamilton. We was all made individual to be our own self, to walk in our own path and our own purpose. And we have to stop judging each other because we ain't gods. We ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody in. Nobody's sin ain't no different than the next person. We just need to pray for one another, lift each other up, get up in the morning and make sure that we put God first. I'm telling myself that too because I fall short all the time. And I know that I will be a whole lot further along in my own life if I put God first and walk in my purpose. And that's what I'm trying to do, y'all. And I'm just encouraging y'all. I ain't trying to tell nobody what to do. I'm just trying to be encouraging. Put God first. Stop letting this, these broken childhoods, these toxic relationships you've been in, the grief, and all that take control of your life. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get control back of my life. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, it's just not easy for me right now. But I'm still pushing forward. And I just encourage y'all to keep going no matter what. No matter what you feel like in the morning sometimes when you get up out of your bed. Sometimes I be in so much pain. I have to roll out of the bed and balance myself to be able to get up. No, everybody don't know that. You don't know it until I say it. Yeah. I continue to move my body because I know you just can't give just I just can't give up on life. I just can't lay down and die because I lost my child. But is it hard? Oh yes. Do I have good days? Oh yes. Do I have bad? Plenty of them. I don't even know how to handle it sometimes. The only thing I can do is push forward. That's all we can do in this life. Is continue to push forward. Push past any strongholds that's been put on our life. I'm going to take losing my son and try to live better. Take losing my grandmas, try to live better. You losing my daddy, try to live better. Lo even losing aunts, uncles, cousins, all family members because it's been a lot. And take that and live a better life and live life to the fullest because... I know that's what they will want for me and my kids and the rest of the family. Y'all, I wish that I could get on here and give y'all good videos and happy, cheerful videos all the time and be singing and dancing and having a good time and stuff. I will sometimes if, in that, if I'm in that kind of mood, but a lot of times I be going through. And that's the whole reason why I'm even starting my business because we need to find balance we need to find balance in our lives I make my little braces and I make my anklets and I made a few earrings and my soaps and stuff it ain't nothing special it ain't nothing special about it yeah it is let me change that it's special about it because I put God in it y'all I pray over all my stuff and it's about your faith. You got to have faith in God, y'all. Material stuff don't mean nothing if God ain't in it. We can get blessed oils. We can get holy oils. We can get blessed water, holy water. And if we don't believe in God and put God first, don't none of that stuff, material stuff matter. It's God who had the power. God had the power over everything. I don't care who believe in, who believe in God or who don't. I trust him. With my life, I trust him 
They helped me through this grieving process. I'm hurt about losing my son, but I know that God seen that he was hurting. Things that me, even as a mother, that I didn't see. God seen things in him that was broken, things he couldn't handle. And I know that God got him. God gave him to me. And I know that he had to go back home. I know that my grandmas had to go back home, my daddy, and all my loved ones. Does it hurt? Yes. Because those were the heavy hitters in my life. Him, mother, those were a few of the people here on earth that I know that love me unconditionally. And I miss them. But in they loss, I know it was a purpose. I'm glad that they ain't here no more suffering. And I know they behind me. I know they right standing behind God and they behind me pushing me to push forward. And I know without God in them that I wouldn't be able to make it. I don't know who need to hear this today. I don't care if I don't get a whole lot of likes. I don't even care no more who don't subscribe, who don't thumbs up, and who don't comment. I got a purpose, and I'm walking in mine. And I encourage you to walk in yours. It don't matter how you feel about me. It don't matter if you on here just to see what's going on in my life. It don't matter to me if you're a friend or you're an enemy. But I hope somebody get this message. And they get it loud and clear. Walk in your purpose. I talk about it all the time. And I'm going to walk, walk, I'm gonna continue to talk about it. Because I'm going to walk in mine. No matter how hurt I may be. No matter how many losses I done took. And I done took a lot. But I'm not the only one. And that's the thing. That I got to realize. I ain't the only one in this world hurting. There's a lot of us that's hurting. But I learned. I'm going to turn tragedy into triumph. No matter how I feel right now. I'm still going to keep pushing for this healing. I'm still going to keep going. And I'm still going to keep encouraging you to do the same thing. No matter whether you do, you my friend or you my foe. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep making my videos when I can. And I'm going to keep encouraging you. Because there's some people out here that really need it. And just as much as y'all might need these little words that I say, whenever I can, I need y'all too. Through all this, it have been people that support me. I know people might not text me every day. They might not call me. I won't want to keep calling nobody that lost their child every day either. But even some people that I might have not thought would support me. They have been. And I want to tell y'all again. I can't tell y'all enough how much I really appreciate y'all. I don't care who gets tired of hearing it. I appreciate everybody that was real. That helped me when I went through this and while I'm going through it. I don't care if you don't text me but once every three months. It matters to me. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. You feel so alone. A lot of times people don't know what to say to you. You don't have to say anything. Yes, if you know God and you really mean me some good, just say a little small prayer. Lord, Father God, just help me. And I wish the same for you. Whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, and whatever you may go through, in your future, I pray that God just give you all strength to keep on going, to keep pushing and push for greatness and walk in your purpose and heal from this childhood stuff because this this, this really is not easy and we'll be healing for the rest of our life but it's good when you can step up and you can try to make changes in your life that's the important part and that's the part 
that God really wants for all of us for us to put forth the effort. Don't worry about what people have to say about you. Don't worry about, about, about the gossip, about people trying to judge you because you know what? They ain't got no heaven or hell to put you in. And their opinion of you, I'm sorry to say it, it really don't matter. Let them talk because really, 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 deep down on the inside, nobody don't know nothing about you except the information that you give them. And then that don't always be the truth. You can tell anybody anything. I just want y'all. I just want to encourage y'all. I wanted to make this video a good, cheerful video, but I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. Just I, my emotions be all over the place. But I know that only come with this grief, this grieving process. And I know that um, some people may get tired of me talking about the same thing. Like I said, you can always bypass this YouTube page, pass all my social media, social media outlets. And sometimes I intentionally make things um, private because I want people to get the message. I know a lot of people just looking to be nosy. And I know I keep saying that because I, I really mean that. I know a lot of people just looking to be nosy. Y'all people ain't going to always support you. I mean, even people close to you, they're not going to always support you. And you really can't get mad about it because I know me personally, I ain't always supporting people. But they won't just intentionally not supporting people but just... Life goes on and sometimes people just get entangled in their own lives and trying to get their own stuff together. So everybody ain't doing it out of malice, out of being mean. But some people just doing it because they just want to be nosy and they, they feel like if they thumbs up something or like something, buy something from you, it's going to make you rich. But that ain't the way the world go. I mean, people spending a little dollar with you ain't going to make a person rich. But anyway, genuinely, I'm not perfect. But I genuinely love people. I, I thank God that he is changing me. Because, honey, I was, I was something else. And I know that I was. I, when I sit back and I think about a lot of things in my life. And I look at myself in the mirror. I just thank God that he changed me. Because it, it, it was, it was real, it's rough sometimes to go back and look at yourself. And look at the mistakes you made in your life. And look at. The hurts you cause it, it, it's rough but like I said I, I ask people anybody that I hurt in this lifetime please please forgive me from the bottom to the top of my heart I'm not perfect I'll never be perfect none of us will be but I can admit my faults and my wrongs I, 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 was, I was something else and I still am I still I'm still working and making but I thank God that I'm acknowledging that and that's that that's that that's the main thing we need to do is acknowledge our faults and our wrongs and just try to do better and will we be perfect like I told you no as long as we humans we're not going to be perfect but we can acknowledge our faults and, and, and strive to do better and strive to walk in our purpose and to treat people better and I'm trying my best to keep it together y'all and to walk in love and walk in light some people make it hard to do but you still got to keep trying. And I really, really got to work on forgiveness. Because I, you can say it every day, all day. When people hurt you real, real bad and people don't scar you, it's hard. But, y'all, we, we must forgive. Not even just for the other person, but for ourselves. And we must forgive in order to be forgiven. And, um... I'm just lost for words. I'm all over the place wondering. But anyway, y'all... Just be encouraged. And I know I hooped and hollered through half this video. But I'm not still okay. I have my moments. But anyway, y'all stay encouraged. Y'all keep pushing for your healing. Just keep pushing to heal things. Childhood wounds. And push for people to treat you better. You know, walk in worthiness. Walk in your purpose. And when you do that, you'll stop letting people just treat you any kind of way. You don't deserve it. You deserve the best, but you got to know it. I got to know it. That I deserve a whole lot better than how I'm treated. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed week. I don't know when I'll be back on here dropping a video, but whenever God put it in me and whenever the feeling hit me, I'll be back. Anyway, y'all take care. Take care. Take care. Heal, heal, heal. Walk in your purpose. Walk in your light. And don't let the enemy have his way with you. Don't let him take control no matter what you've been through. No matter what you go through. And no matter what is put on your plate. You can get through it. 
I know if I can, can, and I'm pushing, so can you. Anyway, y'all take care. God bless.